Hello Scorpio and welcome to your monthly horoscope for September for the Sun or the Ascendant. Now I'm going to give you the major themes to look out for but please stay with me. I will then dive deep to give you in forensic detail all the key dates and influences particularly relevant to your sign. Now a lot of people are going to be talking about the Mercury retrograde this month and the month does begin with Mercury in its shadow period the period that precludes when the retrograde begins on the 10th. And initially it is in a very sensitive 12th house area. This is going to bring up issues around trust, who you can really rely upon. But also Mercury actually forges a terrific link with your traditional ruler of Mars in the first 10 days. So I need to tell you about that. In the last 10 days of this month, Mars is forging an awesome link to Saturn. Yes, the much maligned Saturn. That is an influence can be useful to you too. And your modern ruler of Pluto is also forging a very potent link to Mercury once it rewinds on the 23rd into Virgo, your sector of friendship. Well, that's an aspect that's particularly important in the last five days a week of the month. So I'm keen to share those with you and also with the Sun joined by Venus on the 5th in a very sociable area. What does that mean? Will September really be rocking in terms of your opportunities to mix and mingle or is it more complex than that? Please stay with me for more. If you are uh, wanting to embrace more serious astrology and rise above this zodiac forecast, if you give me three pieces of personal birth data, of time, date and place of birth, I can give you a roadmap that can guide you for the rest of your life, help you to identify opportunities, but also see patterns that may have made at times your life more challenging and learn how to work around these. But in my special offer of 30% off, if you order this year, I'll give you your year 2023 forecast within this package, but also the rest of 2022 free. Please see the link below. And finally, if you are new to my channel, I'd be honored if you would subscribe. If you've already done so, thank you so much for your support. But if not, please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Thank you. So Scorpio, your September forecast gives you a glorious opportunity to connect with people that really excite you, an electrifying connection in your social situation, your interest, or even potentially romantically. But I must be honest, there is a bit of a dichotomy because equally there can be a rather difficult, challenging, and rather repressive energy that you may have to work with and it's very much linked to where you live, how you live there and who with. And it could feel that in some situations you feel a bit trapped. And whilst the Sun and Venus from the 5th go into lovely contacts with Uranus as the month goes on, it may not be quite as easy just to free yourself from the situations that you're finding more difficult because they may be very long lasting, they could be quite complex. But there is a tantalizing possibility to refresh your future direction. But it is going to require you, I feel, to look at some rather tender and sensitive issues. Not least because Mercury, the planet of communication, is locked into, in the first three weeks of this month, a very, very vulnerable area of your situation, the 12th house. It's in shadow for the first 10 days. A kind of pre-retrograde which can bring up some of the issues of mercury retrograde in terms of miscommunication or misunderstandings but that can get much stronger from the 10th but equally there's obviously uh, a, a full moon on that day and that full moon is asking you to embrace what gives you pleasure as as an individual Whereas the sun's in the part of your situation asking you to appreciate the collective needs. But also from the 10th through to the 15th, the sun is in a quincunx with Saturn. So as much as you may see the future as you'd like it to be, there may be some emotional or physical or practical inhibitions 
which stop the flow developing along with the mercury retrograde which can introduce some self-doubts even some anxiety to be honest also in week three the sun goes opposite neptune and neptune is a dreamy drifting influence which is since 2012 giving you great opportunities to express your artistry your flair your talents but in this opposition with the sun it could be that anything to do with either your romantic situation, your social situation, or your longer term future, seems to take on a little bit of unreality. But there are opportunities this month. Because Mercury in the first 10 days forges a terrific link with your traditional ruler of Mars. And that's in a very thrusting situation, the eighth house, very much in keeping with that raw energy that characterizes your sign desire and whether it's around business or financial pursuits or around a more romantic one mercury is asking you to listen to your gut instincts but also do your research you know really think very carefully the two together can be excellent if you are wanting to take soundings for example behind the scenes and also from the 17th to the 22nd as venus sparkles in its angle with uh, uh, Uranus, it can be a great opportunity to do something different in a long-term relationship, freshen things up, be more spontaneous, or someone could come into the heart of your world very, very quickly, and you may have a, a decision to make that does require quite a, a rapid response. Uranus triggers things at the speed of light, so just be aware of that. It could be very exciting. Now, your uh, modern ruler of Pluto is very influential in its link with Mercury. Once Mercury rewinds into Virgo on the 23rd, but before then, from the 16th to the 22nd, one of the most influential of all planetary aspects, the Sun in a trine to Pluto, in your sector of the third house, how you think, your immediate everyday environment, with your longer term future, could see some very powerful conversations take place across that group of days. And when the Sun and, and Pluto are in such a positive alliance, our own deeper world can change. So maybe some of your value systems or previous ideas can shift as you flex and pivot towards that longer term future as the person you are now not necessarily live in your life in terms of the way you were kind of guided to do so when you were younger. So very transformational. Then we have the autonomous equinox on the 23rd, which sees the sun move into your 12th house. Initially, it forges an electric link with Mercury, but then Mercury inverts into your sector of friendship. So those friendships can be just as much a, a, a sector of change as your love life or your home and emotional situation. So it's a very complex month. But Mercury then goes on to forge that penetrating link with Pluto, which is really great to understand things at a deeper level. Also, Mars forged that great angle with Mercury in the first 10 days, but it forges an amazing link with Saturn in the last 10 days. And if you do want to get clearer about where to live and how to live there, Something structurally can change as this month comes to a close. But there is an opposition between Venus and Neptune on the 24th. Again, a magical connection is possible, or it could be a little bit of disillusionment around a social or romantic situation. But the new moon on the 25th is asking you to really, really embrace the more reflective side of your nature. You know, we all have a side that we can find more difficult to embrace. You know, we can be very much caught up with our ascendant, to be honest. But the sun is who we are at a deeper level. And sometimes the more shadow sides of our nature is the part of our being that we find least easy to understand. But this is a, a new moon that can help you to gain understanding. Also because Jupiter is in opposition with this new moon. There could be 
a surprise opportunity around your work situation. Maybe someone's going to put a word in behind the scenes for you, or your own instincts can guide you towards an opportunity. But on the 29th, as Venus moves into your 12th house, this could really pose a serious question about whether a relationship is for the long term or not. And because of so much long term energy, it's pushing you to really think in that way. Think about where you're wanting to be future forwards, not just in this immediate month. If there is any lingering doubts about an existing relationship, friendship, involvement, you will be asking yourself and perhaps others some very searching questions as this month draws to a close. Thank you.